Hello everyone, um, it is not a technical uh, video, it just I face it with a new feature or maybe it's for a long I didn't notice that but I want to share it with you about the um, uh, Microsoft Edge actually. It was really interesting. I come up with a word that I want to pronounce it correctly in my uh, video so uh, I was in the middle of creating a course for exam AI 902 and uh, I come up with a word and I want to pronounce it uh, correctly so I just right click from the start of the sentence and I right click on that sentence and I get the option read aloud selection So you see that is actually able, or if I, for example, if I want to read it low to, to the end, so uh, there is, if I don't select, a job, if I select just one word, it's going to read low from that one to the end of the document. So you see that is read it from here to the end, and you can uh, kind of stop it at the top. And uh, there are other options that you can also check it out. Of course, uh, for example, uh, we have the uh, Immerse Reader. That's one of the cognitive services that help people with some disability of their reading, help them to understand the word. Uh, I'm going through that. And also, of course, the translation part that you can translate the whole sentence or just one sentence to different language uh, about the open uh, about the immerse reader let's check it out i'm just going so it's going to uh, open it into the new one so let me choose a couple of paragraph together so i choose all together and i click on immerse reader so here uh, i have different option of course i can read loud through this option is a start to read and also uh, you see that we have a voice option a speed or uh, you can change it to the uh, kind of the different choice over here and you can actually choose the voice uh, so with a different uh, english uh, one and you can actually see that how it work beside that is actually there is a uh, text preference how to show it with a different background or with a text spacing or not and uh, the text size can be changed more of that you can see for example in the statement I, I find it really useful for when you are learning English or you want to improve that so uh, like uh, different color for verbs for adjectives or adverb and the other one and also show the uh, label for each of them so that's a one that's you can actually see that one and also uh, the syllabus to that uh, text uh, I talk about that and also reading preference uh, you can uh, kind of have a line focus through that like this uh, and um, kind of you can translate it to the different uh, languages for example if you want to put any any languages that we have here you can actually do the translation you can set i want to translate the whole of them to the maori language so that's a kind of the uh, very interesting tools that we have over here just check it out the different parts and uh, see that how is actually uh, work and also the picture one, so uh, you can enable that one or disable that one to show uh, the uh, kind of the what is that one. So I just back it to the English. And uh, here, uh, actually, you can go and check the, the uh, reading preference and picture dictionary that able to provide a picture for the each object. So just let me enable it so as you can see uh, when my mouse uh, changes to the uh, actually a star I can see that one so you see the meaning of object the meaning of information uh, 
for some of them we have some images not for all of them um, again you can back to the origin text so that's an interesting one that use the microsoft cognitive services uh, thanks so much for watching this video